Please note, we would like to make it very clear, we are totally against the form of discipline described in the articles and accounts being used on minors and non-consenting adults. Although some of these accounts are fictional, and others may be an exaggerated reality, none of them are too far from the truth of what really happened back in those days. If you are enjoying our stories, please do subscribe to this channel. We will be posting many more stories as time goes by. The Dragon, the Water Bomb and Ace Smacked Bottom Myself and my mate Richie were running around outside my place having a grand old time, with our water guns and our dihydroxide bombs, in our togs and mum was inside doing, oh I don't know mum stuff. When I noticed Richie slip around the far side of the house, I thought to myself brilliant, I can cut through the house, and catch him by surprise with a bomb from the sun deck. So running with gleeful anticipation I zipped in the front door, zapped up the stairs, and was zooming towards the deck when I heard a shattering noise from in my wake. I spun around to see what could have made such a noise, and to my not so welcome surprise, before me were the spreading shards that were, until the happenstance of a force of nature, my mother's prized crystal statue of a dragon, rearing with its wings spread and daring anyone that would disturb what was placed at its feet. This particular ornament was a present from my dad when my older sister, Zara was born and it had become a tradition to place an egg-shaped birthstone for each child born into the family. My own particular sapphire was now spinning at my feet. To make matters worse was, standing in the hall doorway, was my own, now shocked, mother. It was in all almost enough shock for me to drop my precious water boom still clutched in this hatchling's claws. After a brief second that seemed like an eternity my mother uttered in the tone that only your parents can achieve. Alexander Douglas May. How many times have I told you not to run in the house? This question was automatically followed by the time on adverse, go to your room, I will deal with you shortly. It was phrased in such a manner that you reacted immediately else you knew the deal would be even worse. I moved so fast past her, and into my room, that I could have sworn to have set a new land speed record if my feet had touched the ground. In my room, I had time for my thoughts to catch back up to me, for I surely must have mislaid them somewhere else to have acted so stupidly. For Richie would most certainly be sent home, and it was only early in the afternoon, which would ensure a long boring day, for which, it slowly dawned upon me, I would probably not be sitting down. It was true that she and dad have repeatedly told us, kids, not to run or roughhouse inside as something might get broken. And it was a beautiful dragon too. Where did I put that blasted water balloon, don't tell me I dropped it inside to make things worse. No, no, mum had taken it off me as I ran past. Well, I won't blubber this time as I did like when I was a little. Just then mum walked into the room. She sat calmly down on my lucky star, space ranger covered bed. Now Alex, you know why we tell you and your sisters not to run in the house? To this, I could only nod. Well, could you tell me so that I'm sure we are both thinking the same thing? So things don't get broke, like your dragon, I stammered. Good, though so you will remember that next time before you do it, I'm going to have to punish you, so will you come over here now? I dragged my feet over to mum's left, whereupon she lifted me up and across her sun-warmed legs. Still, I was a big boy now and could take it like a man, then. Smack. My left cheek protested at such treatment. Smack. Now the entirety of my right was adding its voice to chorus that I was getting from back there then. Smack. The lower of both. Cried out in unison, my resolve broke, and so did I. Smack. Went as mum's steady hand added my upper and inner left thigh to the symphony quickly followed by. Smack. As the same portions of my right thigh. I started to kick. Ow. Please, mummy, it hurts. It's smack. Meant to. Smack. 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 Mum was going as steady as rain as the smack. Keep hailing down on my posterior. I was really failing now, but mum kept me steady on her lap with her right, as my legs unhindered now in beat with my arms. Please mummy. Smack. I'm sorry. Smack. I won't do it again. 
I know, smack. You won't, that's is what smack. Is to aid. At this point, I had the feeling the world consisted of me, mum, and my fiery backside, but slipping into my reality was a familiar jungle that all the kids had their eyes well tuned to receive, the jingle of the ice cream truck. Talk about adding insult to injury I had been waiting all week saving my pocket money so I could buy my dream cone. My dream cone was the chocolate bomb, two scoops of different types of chocolate ice cream, coated in a chocolate shell. However here I was over my mother's knee again, I gave up and just late there receiving the rest of my spanking, whilst I sobbed. The spanking quickly finished and mum laid my face down on my bed and softly said to me. The my hatchling, it is over, and don't worry you will soon enough be big enough to fly. And left me there to finish my cry with a kiss. As my sobs abated, Richie came into my room, had he stayed to watch my spanking, the sod. Wait what was that in his hands?